Hey guys, what is up? So many of you have been asking me over the last couple of years to show you how to do a four corner way for a motorhome on a cat scale. Well, today we're gonna do that. Details coming up on RV Street. Okay, let's get right to it. You guys know how much I talk about tires and proper PSI and all that stuff. I mean, I talk about this stuff all the time. And if you remember back in October of 2021, just like a couple, three months ago, I went and had new tires put on our motorhome. But after I had those tires installed, I needed to drive it about 50 miles and then bring it back to the tire shop so they could retorque uh, the lug nuts uh, to the proper torque. So I went ahead and got on the freeway and I drove up north on a Highway 45 to a pilot truck station. Because at that pilot, they have a, a set of cat scales. Now one thing I want to clarify, no matter whether it's a pilot uh, truck stop or any other location that has cat scales, you need to be aware that some of them have pipe, steel pipe guardrails on the sides of the scales. Now this one did not. And in, in my experience, most of these locations don't have these railings. But just keep that in mind because if it has those guardrails, you cannot do a four corner way on a cat scale. When you go to weigh your motorhome, you want to do a four corner way. You want to weigh each individual corner. You do not want to do an axle weight because if you do just an axle weight, all you're going to know is what each axle uh, is carrying. It's not going to tell you what each individual tire or the dualies, what the load is on those corners. And not only that, but you're not going to be able to know the weight distribution in your motorhome. You're not going to know whether a particular side is heavier than another or whether one corner is particularly heavy than another or, and all that kind of stuff. So you want to do a four corner way. Okay, so we're gonna pick it up as I arrived at the pilot truck stop. The first thing I did is I walked into the store and I talked to the lady and explained to her what I wanted to do. Now the reason I did this is because I wanted to communicate clearly what my objective was because she's used to having trucks just pull up, weighing the different axles and then off they go. That's not what I wanna do. I want to do a four corner way and an axle way, three different ways. So I communicated that to her. We had, we, you know, we were all like, okay, I understand what you're doing. So I went back out to the coach and we're going to pick it up from there. So here's how you do a four corner way on a cat scale. Okay, so here we are at the cat scales. Now I've already gone and I've talked with a lady up front and I told her what I'm doing. It's what they call a split way. The scale itself is divided into sections and it goes all the way to the front and you have this front platform right here, this front scale. We are not gonna pull on that front scale. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull the coach up and get the passenger wheels first. Then I'm gonna back up and come over here and I'm gonna put the driver's rear and front tire on the two different scales. Then I'm gonna back up again, and I'm gonna come forward and put the front axle and the back axle on those two scales. That way I'll have three different weights. So after I talked to the lady and told her what I'm doing, what you do is you drive forward and get the coach in position. Then I get out of the coach and I push this button. And I'll tell her, okay, I'm ready for my first way. I'll get back into the coach and then she'll weigh me. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull forward and I'm going to make sure that the passenger front tire and the passenger dualies are over and in, in the middle of those scales as much as possible, okay? I have my window open here, so I'll be able to look out the side and make sure that I'm positioned the way I need to be. Okay, so you see what I'm saying? Here's the first scale right here. You see that line and that line there? I got the tire in the middle of that plate, of that scale. The rear dualies are on a separate scale. So I'm ready to weigh this side. So I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna hit the button. Right, so we're getting on that front of one and three, Chris. That's right. So let me get back in the coach and then you can weigh me. Give me about 15 seconds. All right, no worries. 
I definitely want to be in the coach, see, to get this way. So I'm sitting here, and now she'll weigh the front passenger and the dually passengers. So you're probably wondering, how do we know that she's weighed us? Well, I already, like I said, I went in before and talked to her. I told her I was going to do it two split ways and an axle weight. And we rehearsed it uh, on, on how we were going to do this. So, so she's, she knows to wait about 15 seconds or so to get me back in the coach. Then she'll weigh. All right, so we're weighed now. Now we're going to back up and move to the other side of the scales and do the exact same thing. And what I'm doing here is I'm watching my mirrors and my backup camera to make sure that I'm clear. Okay, so what I'm doing now is running the passenger tires off of the scales and keeping my driver front tire and my driver side dualies in the middle of the plates, just like I did before. Let's go out and check, make sure I'm in the middle of the scales. You see how I'm sitting there? That tire over there is off the scales. I've got the passengers, the driver side tire in the, on the scale. Let's look at the rears. Same thing here. So we're good to go. Let's go back and push the button and tell her that uh, we're ready for the second way. Do you just want me to weigh it the whole vehicle front? Yeah, so this is the second way. Give me about 15 seconds to get back in there and then we'll do the third way. Okay, so we'll just sit here for about, just to make sure, 20, 30 seconds. Okay, she just, noticed, she just came over the intercom, she's done. So now we're gonna back up watching my rear view camera and my mirrors. Now we're gonna center the RV to where both front tires are on that front scale and the back four tires, the back axle, is on that rear scale. So the front passenger is on that scale there, the rear tire is on there, and you can see there that the whole axle now, the front axle is on one, on one scale, and the rear axle is on another scale. Now we're gonna go and hit the button again. I have all tires on, so now we're gonna, do, we're gonna weigh the front axle and the back axle. All right, I got gotcha. you. Thank you. So I'm back in the coach now and just giving it a few seconds for her to, I mean, she's up there busy, right? She's dealing with customers and stuff like that. And she's also watching the scale and talking to me. So last time she gave me a prompt on the intercom. She says, I got you. Now, this is how you do a four corner way on a cat scale. Uh, it's not as accurate as a uh, escapees where they put an actual uh, scale under each uh, tire position, but this is going to get you pretty close. Okay. And remember, every time you weigh, you want to make sure that all people, all pets, all cargo, propane, water, fuel, everything. I mean, you're ready to rock and roll. And that weight is going to tell you how much pressure to put in your tires. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull through the scales and we're going to park. And then I got to go in and pay. Okay, well, I just went inside and paid for the, uh, the way. I got three individual way tickets, and that cost me $37.50. So let's go over these tickets, and let's see what all this information means. Okay, so here are the three way tickets right here. I got the one, two, and three. What we're going to do is we're going to take these numbers, and I'm going to transfer them up here to this chart, and I'm going to explain as we go along, okay? So this diagram, I already drawn it out. This is the front of the coach, the back of the coach, and this is for a, a 22,000 pound chassis. That's what my motorhome is rated for. If yours is rated for a different capacity chassis, this is done exactly the same way. So on this first ticket, you can see on the steer axle, it says 3,340 pounds. So I put 3,340 3, pounds on this front right steer tire. Then on the rear tire, it says 7,400. So the 7,400 was for the dualies on the passenger side right here. You see that? Then we went and backed up the coach and moved it over to the driver's side. The steer axle for that is 3,620. So I wrote 3,620 for that tire. And the, and the drive axle for the rear was 6,800. So I put 6,800 here. The third ticket is when I did just the axles. So the axle weight was 7,020 pounds. And so I put that, this is the axle weight weigh. 
So I put 7,020 pounds there, and the drive axle, which is the whole entire, all the dualies, is 14,240. So I put that down right here, okay? So this is the front axle weight, this is the rear axle weight, these are the four individual corner weights. One thing I want to point out here, I've had some of you ask in previous videos about how you achieve a 22,000 pound chassis. Because if you look at the axle weight rating, my front axle is rated for 8,000 pounds. My rear axle is rated for 15,000 pounds. And so they'd say, why, why don't you just take the 15 and the eight and add those together, and that would give you a 23,000 pound chassis. Well, no, that's not the way you do it, okay? The chassis is rated for 22,000 pounds. They're rated higher than 22,000 combined, but the chassis itself is 22,000 pounds. And that 22,000 pounds is divided up between those two axles. And you do not ever want to exceed the capacity of either one of those axle ratings. So I just wanted to cover that first. Okay, so let's look at these numbers here. We have 3340 on the right steer. We have 3620 on the left steer. You add those two together and you get 6960. That's what that total weight of the axle weighs, but these are the individual weights. And you can tell right here that since my rating is 8,000 pounds and I'm weighing in at 69.60, I'm way under, I'm like uh, 1,040 pounds under my axle rating. Now, when I did the axle weight at the end, okay, after I did the passenger side, the driver's side, and then I went and did the axle, the reason I did that is I wanted to have a set of checks and balances. I wanted to make sure that doing just an axle weight, I can look at that number and then look at this number and see how close I am. Well, the axle weight, when I came and weighed it right here, it says 7,020 pounds, see, right there. But when you actually do the four corner weigh and add these numbers together, it's 6960. So there's actually a 60 pound difference by doing the four corner and just an axle weight. Let's go down here to the rear. On the dualies, I had 7,400 pounds on the passenger side. 6,800 pounds on the driver's side. You add those together and I have 14,200 pounds. Well below the 15,000 pound rating that I have. So what you do with these numbers is you're looking for the heaviest weight. Well, I've got 7,400 pounds here, but that's, divide, that's between two tires. So you divide that by two. You get 3,700 pounds for each tire. That's what each tire is carrying on this side of the dualies. You take the 6,800 pounds on the driver's side, divide it by two, and you get 3,400 pounds. Each tire here is carrying 3,400 pounds. Which one's the heaviest tire? Which tire is carrying the heaviest load? Well, these are right here. The 3,700 pounds on this set of dualies is carrying more weight individually, and this is the number right here that you use to calculate your PSI for all four tires on the rear axle. You do the same thing for the two front tires. Take the tire that is carrying the most weight and calculate the proper PSI for both front tires. Now, it's very common that your PSI for the front tires will be different than the rear tires. Another thing about these numbers that is very revealing is where your heavy side is, okay? So you look at, this, you look at this, uh, these numbers. On this rear corner here, I got 6,800 pounds. Over here, 7,400, 33, and 36. Well, automatically you can see that there is a 600 pound difference between the driver's rear and passenger rear. Up here, it's not so much. Up here, it's about what? 300 pounds, something like that. But here, we have a 600 pound. Now, having a four, five, 600 pound difference from side to side like that is actually very common. But let's say it was 800, 1,000 pounds more. Well, that's very revealing. This, you would never know that in an axle way. But since we did the four corner way, we can see that one side is much heavier than the other side. And that is a big flag that you need to look at what's on that corner or in those bays or what's going on with there 
and that allows you now to shift some weight and try to get the motor home as even as possible. Now, running four or 500 pounds like this here, out of you know, being uh, out of balance, if you want to put it that way, is not a big deal. But if it's way up there, okay, 800, 1,000. In fact, we have some friends, they went and weighed theirs after I talked to them. They were 1,100 pounds on one side, on one corner that was way too heavy. Well, they got to looking in their basement like, okay, yeah, I see what's going on. And they started shifting weight. They started putting it to the other side and, and, and not getting all that weight on, on that one set of dualies. So that's another really important thing on, uh, and information that you're going to get with a four corner way. Now, those of you who watch my channel, you know that I prefer and do use escapees uh, for my way. When you go to escapees, uh, whether it's an RV, a motorhome, a trailer, a fifth wheel, doesn't matter, they'll put the scales, a separate individual scale, under each individual tire. It's a very, very accurate way uh, to weigh your RV. Uh, they also will measure the height. They'll tell you what your height clearance is. And they actually have a sheet with a whole bunch of other check boxes in there. They look at your tires and on and on and on. Now they have three locations, one in Arizona, one in Texas, and one in Florida. But I know that a lot of you are just not able to get to one of those locations. But if you can, that's, I would highly recommend that. I think it's like $45 and you have to make an appointment. But the reason I did this cat scale, because I know a lot of you are not able to get to an escapee's location. But this here will get you right in that ballpark. You have to weigh this coach. You know, you just have to do that so you know what you're doing in airing up your tires. You want to have that PSI uh, correct. This is the only way you're going to be able to do that accurately. So doing it on a cat scale is a great alternative. So now that you have this information, you're going to know how to redistribute your weight if you need to, and you're also gonna know how to calculate the proper PSI for your tires. So the next logical step after watching this video is to go watch my how to properly inflate motorhome tires. I go through it step by step, how to read tire charts, how to calculate ambient temperature creep, all those kind of things. I'm gonna put a link to that right up here. So at the end of this video, if you'll just click that little uh, circle right there, you're going to see that video. And I'm also going to put uh, the video up there for the ins and outs of buying and installing uh, new motorhome tires. So many of you tell me all the time, Martin, thank you. Thank you for making these videos. So I want to thank all of you again for using my Amazon store for everything you need, whether it's RV related or not. Many of you have been saying thank you, Martin, and supporting Joni and I by going to our Amazon store and buying whatever it is that you need or that you would normally shop for on Amazon. The link to my Amazon store is down there in the description text. And when you click that link and check out my store or shop whatever you need, bookmark it. Bookmark that uh, link on your browser, and then every time you want to go to Amazon, just go to the bookmark and shop on Amazon like you normally would. Joni and I appreciate this more than you know. And those of you who are new to, to my channel, RV Street, if you want to learn how to take care of your RV, keep it running top notch. If you look right underneath this video, you'll see my logo. You see that logo right there? Click that and that'll take you to my uh, YouTube homepage. And on my homepage, you'll see playlists. If you'll click that playlist tab, it's going to take you to a whole library of videos that's going to show you step by step how to take care of your RV. I mean, we just do not need to go to the school of hard knocks. I show you how to do all these things. So all you got to do is click, watch, learn, and then do it. Well, that's it for now, guys. This is how to properly do a four corner way for your motorhome on a cat scale. So until next time, this is RV Street. Stick around.